I have a 25-year-old son and an 8-year-old son and a 23-year-old son. Yesterday, my 25-year-old son said to my 8-year-old son, practice makes perfect. Mm -mm. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes progress. This morning, I was listening to a sermon. It was speaking about progression and how so many times we may start something and because we don't make it just the way that we think it's supposed to be, like perfect, then we quit that thing. Practice makes progress and that is what we need to strive for. Use me as an example. During COVID, I was in a dark place, depressed, unhappy in my life, financially at the lowest point. I lost my income. I grew up singing and choirs and acting, but I was not an athlete at all. Didn't matter if I was 125 pounds, honey, I could not do nothing in the space of sports. Did not, could not. Matter of fact, on the volleyball team that I got on, I don't know how I got on there, it was off in two weeks. When COVID happened, I'm age 40 something. I was so determined that I was going to change something. I didn't know how to change my financial standpoint. I didn't know how to change my mindset, but I knew if I could get outside that I could find some type of peace of mind. So I thought if I got outside and ran, I never ran in my life. Never ran in my life. So I grabbed some sneakers they weren't running shoes and i headed out did a video and i was so convinced in 90 days my life is going to be different started running and 60 seconds into that run i was huffing and puffing 60 seconds y'all count that 60 seconds is not a long time it's not a mile i thought what the heck am i doing but i knew in my spirit if i stayed consistent my life would change 90 days came and went honey i was not doing much better but i realized practice leads to progression that it didn't take 90 days but i just needed to get in there and start doing something different well over the course of the next few years this girl who could barely run 60 seconds has run six half marathons i'm going to vegas to run my seventh and an eighth one in new york city and I've run one full marathon, 26.2 miles. I do plan on running more marathons. Now, I'm not telling you this like I'm a guru and I know how to run marathons and I know how to have a perfect stride or body form. I'm speaking from the perspective that practice does make progress. You're not going to be perfect. You're not gonna know how to do any of these things in the beginning, but you have to start. My life is different. My mindset has been changed. My physical cardiovascular health has been changed. And it was because I committed to the progress. So this is my challenge to you today. Commit to the progress, not perfection, not I have to be at a certain weight in 90 days. I just want you to start. Because another great thing that happened in my life was that when I started taking my health serious and doing something different, then God started opening doors for me to even open a business. So not only am I becoming healthier in my cardiovascular health, my physical health, the Lord is now changing the health of my finances because I started and I was obedient. I hope this blesses you today to just start. Progress over perfection.